Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today, the Yubakcha is good on Kewo and her daughter, not the heart of Nigerians. And people keep praising this actress for a job well done. Of course, everyone is celebrating the new year. However, this family have something else to celebrate. And they shared some of the lovely moments with us on social media platforms. The actress' daughter surprised her mother. And this, of course, made the actress all emotional. But then that was not what caught the attention of Nigerians. In the short clip shared, the actress could be seen unraveling all the gifts that her daughter had given her. A set of jewelry, perfume, and some other luxurious items. But then what caught her mother all Terry was her powerful words, which she was using to appreciate her mother. She mentioned how the actress had to make some groundbreaking decisions because of her children. The actress had mentioned that she was really upset at first for her daughter deceiving her out of the house to make this surprise happen and even yelled at her daughter. But then she apologized afterwards. What many people are noticing is Ifeoluwa's humility and how she acts different from the children of this age, even though she's a celebrity kid. And many people are praising this actress for a job well done in this generation. Having such a daughter who doesn't look wayward or act wayward, her head is down, she's in school, doing well on social media, but then <coughs> but then cautious of whatever she shares. <coughs> but then cautious of whatever she shares on social media, not causing trouble, making her mother proud every day. People are praising this actress for a job well done. In fact, some people are saying that if you're Lua, you might shockingly be one of the richest celebrity kids, but then you would hardly even know this. Recall that just some months ago when she was celebrating her birthday, her mother had surprised her by buying a house in her name. And this was shared on our official social media platform. So if you're Lua is a homeowner and an entrepreneur. So apart from her mother's financial contribution, she's also making her home money. If you is said to be in a Christian university, some sources had mentioned Mountain of Fire. Some sources had mentioned Mountain of Fire University, which is called Mountain Top University. And as earlier mentioned, she's also an entrepreneur. She has about two businesses. One of her business page is for luxury hair, and the other one is for clothing. Well, this is not the first time that Biodun's daughter will be melting Nigerian people's hearts, as earlier mentioned. In fact, some months ago, there was a girl in her 20s who, whose video was making the rounds on social media, and the girl was talking about how it was not a flex to be a virgin in her a And the girl was talking about how it was not a flex to be a virgin in 20s. In fact, she had gone out to slander her peers and said that it was rather embarrassing to be a virgin at that age, according to her. She had mentioned that it was not something to be proud of, so she does not know why they were flexing about it. Rather, they should be ashamed of it, according to her. But the actress building was quick that day to jump at that video and commented that her daughter should not listen to such people. Being a virgin in the 20s before you get married is always a flex. Of course, many people applauded this actress for this move. As it is, her daughter seems to be a devoted Christian, even on her Instagram. Mm. On about, you would see entrepreneur, hey dear, God's using me, Abba's beloved, the creator's creative. An address in which might have been influenced by a Christian university, the one she attends, is quite decent. As I mentioned, Biodo is a single mom of two kids. She has a boy whose name is Ayomi De who was born on 14th of March in 2000. And this, and this her daughter, Feolua, whom she gave birth to in July 2001. In fact, a while ago, this actress gave the whole credit of raising her kids to her mother. She said that the woman really helped her, considering that she was still in the university at the time. Her mother would tell her to go and concentrate on her studies and leave the kids with her. She did approximately everything for her until she sadly passed on in 2019. Well, some people have asked over the years, so who is Bjorn on Kewo's husband? Because she has opened up. Because she had opened up that she had, because she had opened up that she was not going to go back to the father of her kids. So who is the man in her life? 
what she hasn't linked to several people over the years. Please stay with us for a little bit just please stay with us for a little bit more on Biodo Okeo. As I mentioned, Biodo was not legally married to her ex-man who is the father of Ifeoluwa and her brother. She has been open about this over the years. They met when she was an undergraduate and when she was asked why both of them did not end up later together, she said she thinks the man was not ready at the time. However, they still maintain a cordial relationship for the sake of their kids. She's also one of the actresses who do not bring a romantic relationship on social media. However, she has been linked to some men over the years. And amongst them is the actor Kunle Adebite. Kunle Adebite is also a married Yoba actor, movie producer and a director. And both of them, in 2016, were recognized and awarded at the Celestial Church of Christ in Ijesha Parish, really. They were given the award in honor of their selfless and devoted service to the work of God. It was following this that rumors started peddling that both of them were more than platonic friends. Though it was apparent that the both of them had cordial connection and there was really no proof of alleged romantic affair. However, some sources started saying that these two were more than friends and all that and was the man, the special man in building Okewo's life. Another male that Biodo has been linked with over the years is Pasuma. Pasuma. It was not until an interview with Vanguard that Biodo addressed this rumor and said it was quite laughable because Pasuma is just like a brother and friend to her and that he equally knows her very well. She dismissed the rumor by saying that the peddlers obviously does not have work to do and should go and find one. She went ahead to express her surprise at this by wondering why people can't just see closeness in a relationship without thinking of intimacy. Hence, she concluded that the local mentality is the only thing she sees as the reason behind all these unscrupulous rumors. Another person that she was linked with is the Nigerian politician, a former Kogi State Senior. Another person she was linked with is the Nigerian politician and former Kogi State Senator Dino Melai. It was in 2021 that Biodo caused an uproar on social media by posting a photo of herself and the former Kogi State Senator. According to her, she had met him at a wedding ceremony and decided to have a shot with him, just like she did with some other notable guests. But with the reasons best known to the Momongas, they came out with it again, spreading the lies and allegations that they were having an affair. Well, in June, Biodon took to her Instagram to deny this report, saying that she's not in any form of relationship with the senator, the former senator, and has no intention to date him, even in the future. Following her response, Dino also debunked the rumor, saying that nothing was going on between them. So these are the men that Biodon has been linked with over the years. So therefore, the actress has not formally come out to show a man to the world that is in her life. And this is a little bit about her personal life. And we have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. And let's know two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.